Welcome to a demo video of how to program the RTS7 using the Vivado design suite. First, let us create a new project by clicking create project here. It opens a new dialog box. Click next and give your project name here. Let's name it as Blinky LED and click next. It says it's already there, so let's create. Let's name it as Blinky LED One, and click Next. Make sure it's selected as RTL project, and this checkbox is checked. Click Next. Click Boards here, and search your RTS Seven board, and select this one. It's a Russian B board and make sure the part number is correct and click next again a summary page display make sure you have selected the correct board here and click on finish and it will create a project it will take some time We have the project created now. We have the project here and the sources here and the properties of the sources over here and the messages displayed over here and the summary of the project or the files you open will be displayed over here. Okay, the f as a first step, we need to add a constraint file. Go to sources tab here or sources section here. And click on constraint and check whether there is any constraint file there is no constraint file we just need to add constraint file click the plus button and new dialog box appears and click on add or create constraints and click next and here we just need to add file and I have already downloaded the constraint files. I leave the link in the description below. And you select the correct board. So in my case it's RTS 750 revision B and click OK and finish. So we'll have a constraint file added. To view the constraint file, double click here, click here to maximize. This is our constraint file. So, for example, if you need to add a clock here, just uncomment these lines and rename it as CLK for clock. And in our Blinky project, we are going to add a switch. So, uncomment here and rename it as switch for sw for switch and also we are going to add uh, just a green led so just we will just uncomment this and name it as led okay and then click the save button and next we are going to add our verilog file so click the second option for that add or create design sources and click next and here we are going to create a new file type the name of your file and dot b for verilog you have options to create vhdl file also click ok a new file will be created and click finish and here we need to mention what are the ports that we need so we have a clock CLK for clock and LED which is going to be an output a switch for an input click OK to finish our file is getting generated and we have our blinky file here double click to open it and we have the file over here and this is the module 
so it consists of the input uh, inputs and output this is the code for blinky led so we have uh, created a register here we have and we have created a register here and initialized it to 0 24 bit size and we are assigning count of 24 to the led output and and this count is obtained which gets incremented during the positive edge of the clock and this is the wedlock program we are going to save this program the next step would be run synthesis over here and we have run implementation and generate bit stream so these are like compiling the Verilog program and assigning the particular FPG pins and uh, design so let's run synthesis now and click ok in this dialog box we can see the status over here so running synthesis now and we can now check the status here so it will take time the synthesis is now complete and we have this dialog box over here and it is selected to run implementation and click ok click ok again this will also take some time the implementation is also now complete click generate bit stream and then click ok and ok again and here we can see the status and, and finally the bitstream generation is also success and now let's click open hardware manager and click ok and we have some good summary over here the total power is also calculated let's now open the hardware manager At the same time, I'll also connect my RTS7 to my laptop and the hardware manager is open. Now we have to open the target, click open target and if you want, if you are doing for the first time, click open new target here or else you can click auto connect to connect your board. The board is now connected. You can see the details of the board over here. And now you can click here to program the device, or also you can click here from the device. Let me now switch on to the camera to show you the device while it is programmed. I'm going to click the program button, and then we'll have a dialog box like this. Click program here again and the board is now getting programmed as you can see the LED is blinking now thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more updates on this road test of Disneyland RTS7